Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to approach creating daily check-in forms with Google Forms. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. So I'm going to go to forms.new and create a new Google Form. And let's just call this one daily check-in. So that's my form. And of course, I can customize it and say I want to use different colors and different themes, but I'm going to leave it as is for now. Let's just leave it there with our default purple and leave it as is. And then I'm going to put in my first question and put in your name. Now, of course, if you're in Google Workspace, you can set your forms so that it automatically collects your students' names. But in this case here, I'm going to put in your name and I'm going to add a question. And the second question is going to be the date. And if you just type in date, by default, Google Forms is going to suggest that you use a date question format. And so I'm going to leave it as is, just like that. And then I'll ask my questions. You know, How well do you or did you understand today's lesson. And again, Google Forms is going to suggest using a linear scale, but you could use multiple choice, check boxes, drop down menu if you wanted to. I'm going to use linear scale and say one will be not at all and five will be got it all, no worries at all. Now, those are the questions I'm going to have just in this simple daily check-in. And now let's take a look at how the student will view this. So, of course, I can put this link in Google Classroom or anywhere else that I want to share it. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to pull up that form in a new window here. And let's fill this out. And so we're going to have our student, Mason. And he's going to come along here and he's going to say he's going to fill this out on the 19th. 2021 helps to format it correctly and then he says you know three and we'll have another student fill this out we'll have Bob fill this out and he's going to fill it out the same way and he's going to say two and we'll have Pete and Pete's going to fill it out and Pete's got it all no worries at all now, let's say another day has gone by, and so we want to have another student fill this out. So, again, we're going to have Bob is going to come back in and fill this out. And he's going to do it on the 22nd, 2021. He's got that lesson down. Mason does the same thing. He's going to go here. He's going to fill this out. Mason's got that lesson. And then we'll do one more. And we'll say we'll put Pete back in there. And he's going to fill that out as well. And Pete's got it. Great. So now let's say that I'm looking at this as the teacher. And I see all my responses here in this response panel in Google Forms. And that's great. And it's fine for a small number of responses. But if I have 25 students doing this every day for the whole week, looking at it this way is not going to be a great option. I want to go into a spreadsheet. I'm going to create a new spreadsheet of responses. And here we'll see that column C is going to arrange all results according to date. And so I'll have all my responses according to date. And then I can just simply go in and look at all of those responses and, and say, hey, look at that on the 22nd. All of my students got the lesson without a problem, but on the 19th, which was a Friday, Mason and Bob didn't quite get it, but Pete got it. And so I can kind of start to identify some trends in that way. Now, that's one way that we can go about creating a daily check-in, but let's reuse this form and modify it a little bit and look at another option. So I'm going to create a copy of this daily check-in. And instead of using the date 
format here, I'm going to change out this question. So I'm not going to use date. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a drop down menu and say day of the week. And so I'm going to add all of these and then just remove Saturday and Sunday. So I don't have school on Saturday and Sunday. And then when my students go to fill out this form, they're just going to pick from that drop down menu. So let's take a look at how a student's going to view that. So let's send that out. We'll grab that link. Now let's open that up as a student would see it. And so there's my student Mason. He's just gonna pick Monday and his response. And then we'll have our student Bob who picks Monday and his response. And then we'll do it again with Pete. And he's going to pick Monday and he's got a four out of five. We'll do another day. Once again, we've got Mason and he's going to be on Tuesday. Tuesday, he gets it. We do it again for Bob for Tuesday. Bob's got it. And one more for Pete and Pete says so Tuesday and he's got it as well. Now as the teacher, let's go ahead and look at these responses. And again, we have that same table of responses, which is fine if we have a small sample size. But again, we've got 20 or 25 kids filling this out every day of the week. It's going to get a little unwieldy to look at it this way. So again, we'll make a spreadsheet. And in this spreadsheet, we can again Go there and see that column C is going to be day of the week. And I can just look and see, oh, look at that. On Monday, well, Mason kind of got it. Bob and Pete, they definitely got it. But then on Tuesday, everyone got it. So again, another way to look at the data. Instead of using the date format, we'll just use days of the week. And for some people, that might be a little bit better. And you can look at trends for days of the week and how your lessons are doing on certain days of the week. Now, if you want to get into more sorting of the information in a spreadsheet, I have a link down below where you can get another tutorial on how to sort data in your spreadsheets. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.